Welcome back. It's been a while. Or actually it hasn't. It's been uh, like a week or so for, for me. But uh, this is episode 10 of Sleeping Dogs. My Sleeping Dogs Let's Play. And we're back in my piece of shit apartment here. Um, in downtown Hong Kong. Um, I'm trying to remember what happened uh, last time. I think... It was something like we. I think we framed that drug dealer, pop star. Sure. You heard there was a fight the other night. That's where my friends go. You your friends are what idiots. You You're a good girl. I'm not you should act respectfully. I, kind of I can be like good and go to Bam Bam too. Forward. It's just it's innocent hot. fun. Nothing is innocent these days. Look around. Incredible. Do you see anything innocent <laughs> here? <laughs> okay. Clumsy fucker. Okay, let's see what we can do. We have something here. Let's check it out. Oh, hey, cutie. Uh, excuse me. Do you speak English? I like to think so. Not enough to get by, anyways. You? Yeah. I. Wait. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I speak English. I kind of guess. What can I do for you? I'm looking for this place, Old Temple Academy. I thought it was around here. It's supposed to be a kung fu school, but I'm totally lost. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Yeah, I, I think I know where it is. I mean, it's not too far. I, I can give you a ride. <laughs> I mean, it'll be easier than explaining whoop, whoop. where it is. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that'd that be really great. My name's Amanda, by the way, or Amy. Either one is fine. Oh, nice to meet you, Amy. I'm wet. I really need like a 64 Cadillac and, and Dr. Dre pumping in the radio. Hey, what can I do for you? Here you go. Just another motherfucking day with Dre, so I begin what like you this. To Are you thinking of becoming Chinese? No <laughs> medallion dreadlocks no. against No, I, uh, I just finished college and I'm oh. doing a bit of traveling. Oh, no. college girl. Out what's oh, hey, 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 guy. How's that going? Well, I've only been traveling for a few weeks, so no real progress on the life front. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. What about you? You got it all figured out? I wouldn't say that. You know, I got a few family issues I'm working on clearing up. Maybe once that's dealt with, I'll get on to figuring... So this is the Bam Bam Club. Back home I saw a restaurant that looked a little bit like this. <laughs> Don't let the locals hear you say that. <laughs> yeah, that's a real insult. I wouldn't say that. You know, I got a few family issues I'm working on clearing up. Maybe once that's dealt with, I'll get on to figuring out life. Oh, yeah? You got any pointers? Well, the trick to Hong Kong is learning to live by ancient Chinese wisdom. Look both ways before crossing the street. Always buckle your seatbelt. And only apply makeup at red lights. Don't text and drive. You know, that kind of thing. Words to live by. What a jokester. What an absolute jokester. Whoa. Oh. Wow. This is a pretty cool place for a kung fu school. Unfortunately, the school isn't in the temple. Not that temple, anyway. Didn't they use this temple as a backdrop for, what was it, Fists of Carnage? <laughs> no, it was used in the Grandfathers of the Shaolin Fist. Actually, it sounds like real Hong Kong movies. Did any of you guys ever see, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called, like, I think it's called Twin Fist or, or something. Or maybe it has a different uh, English uh, English titles. One of, one of them is, uh, I think, Tai Chi Master. Yeah, I don't know. It's your fat ass slowing me down. God damn it, come on. Yeah, it's usually not this heavy, this bike. I usually uh, make those turns pretty smoothly, but uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, it's this way. Hold on. Isn't this school supposed to be in a temple? Sure. Safe. Safe. Mm. 
I'm just waiting for that you? scene yeah. from Fist I'd of like Legend, to sign up but for uh. Some Kung Fu classes. I read about your school in my guidebook. Uh, your guidebook. Yeah. Oh. It said you teach a style with a long lineage, but in spite of all that, it's still considered very effective. You want to take classes, <laughs> okay. And you, did you also read about this place in some book? Well, I... Wait. Uh, I know you. Uh, no you don't. Yes, Fuqua. I used to be your student. I'm Wei, Wei Shen. Yes, the one who went to America. So you brought this girl back with you. Uh, your skill level with girls, very good. Now time to assess your skill level in Kung Fu. Uh, not so good. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. And... <laughs> And you can have a kick in the mouth. Oh, in the s in the belly. Okay, one for you, one for you, and one for you, right in the face. I see time in America has rusted your skills. That's not nice. See, I'm pretty adept at this fighting stuff. Sit the fuck down, please. Sit the fuck down. Dude, just go down. Okay. Do you Man. My counter game is so off. Oh, two, two of them. Dude, what the hell? Your incompetence towers above your <laughs> Oh, okay. No kids for you. Oh, son of a... Okay. My shame at your performance grows by the minute. Hope you're not talking to me, buddy. I try to steer them in the right direction. Especially the younger ones. But they all want to be Song Ong Yi. Now... Now I just train them in the ways of my art. Try to teach them compassion and discretion. And pray for the best. Uh -huh. Sifu, I don't think there's much more you can do. Oh, Jade Work Rat. I worked up a sweat, huh? Song Dynasty, right? Very good. The Song Dynasty? That's like a thousand years old or something. That's real? Part of a set of twelve. One for each animal of the Chinese calendar. Sifu, you used to have the whole set. What happened to the others? Stolen by a former student, corrupted by the triads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sifu. So was I. Hmm. This collection meant a lot to me. But sometimes you just have to let things go. Righto. I should close up. It was good to see you again, Wei. And your lovely fiance. What? <laughs> Sifu. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, that was fun. What do you want to do now? Uh, I need to get home, but uh, I will definitely call you later. What a tease. What a little tease. Okay, so the Song Dynasty is actually... Uh, I think it's... I'm, I'm not going to say when uh, when it was because I don't remember completely. I think it was about a thousand years ago. Maybe no, maybe a little bit earlier than that. Um, and uh, Song and Tang, uh, Tang Dynasty was right around the same period or, or, or they one preceded the next one. Uh, oh. And actually Motherfucker! When, when you see uh, like old Chinese movies, then a lot of them are, a lot of them uh, when when their period pieces take place in uh, Song Dynasty or Tang Dynasty, and uh, a lot of the styles from traditional ja uh, Japanese culture also uh, were heavily inspired by Song or Tang Di Dynasty. So, uh, so yeah, there's that. Let's see. Okay, some main mission stuff. 
My man, away! You done good. You restored orders in the night market. Well, he took a chance on me, Winston. I wanted to make sure it paid off. You got the right attitude. It's gonna pay off for you. You'll see. <laughs> you know anything about the minibus racket? Well, same nope. as everyone. If you want to drive a good route, you pay the toll. That's right. Pay the troll toll. You know the pickup on Marble Drive? The most profitable route in the whole fucking city. From now on, it's yours. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you, man. I appreciate it, Winston. <laughs> Dog eyes, Walt. Right now it's his room. But you know how to deal with it, huh? It'll be my fucking pleasure. I gotta take this. Take a few of the guys with you to back you up. Let's go. Okay, I guess we'll end this episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in episode 11, I think.